Yes, we're going to keep the ball again. He's tired. Shattered. Shattered. Mate. Have you slept? It's a hard journey, isn't it? Have you, Andy? Aye. I mean, we were actually saying, how do you do that? Like, all the it's time. It's a breeze, mate. I enjoy it. Do you? Just because uh, the minibus with the boys? Minibus with the boys. Uh, and at three years analysing after the game, the boys are like, ah, shut the fuck up. What, you doing that on the bus, eh? Uh-huh. Oof. Always, yeah. mate. Let's get around the pause for Sci-Fi. Nah. Unbelievable. No, I don't want to be free, I don't want to run the pause for it. Sci-Fi, isn't it? Sci-Fi, brilliant. Fuck your disgrace, mate. I know, we'll be free, nothing, mate, so. Ah, but he's very excellent, gentlemen. Before we get into that, Grosvenor Sport, double your odds on your first sport, but after you sign up, we're paid in cash also. Oh, sign up at gsport.com slash open goal. That's seamless now, isn't it? That's seamless now. Seamless. And see another thing. How close are we to thousand subscribers boys what, I think we're a couple of thousand off a couple of right? thousand off you seen that final push didn't we I know, ah, a couple yeah. of thousand off what did they need to do just keep on click the like button click the like button mate. no the like button no it's a subscribe button it's no fucking it's no fucking it's only a you subscribe it's no fucking rocket science isn't it of course only you subscribe because I fucking have been I only subscribe to one thing it's your fake taxi your fake taxi it's a funny smell when I had taxi what was it reek the tuna I thought wait wasn't it right skips no, it was weird. We couldn't get half a seat. Stephen, Stephen Thompson's arse up got us now. Peel my trousers off the seat. He can't even sit on the gear stick. By the way, we dis- your chat and that was a disgrace yesterday. Though. Was oh, it? Andy Halliday, a different oh, side to him, was it, right? It was not. Oh, is he a full bag? Some of the Fulf questions. Fulf and bul- vulgarity, mate. Wasn't it? No, your answers were for... Ask a question about the ice lolly. Ask a ice one, lolly like. question needs to be... <laughs> Do you know It's a difficult question, but isn't it? For anyone. I don't, to be fair, you've got the same answer for everybody. Have you ever heard anyone picking both of them? I know, that was weird. That's the worst question I think I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I do not want that to be repeated. It was enjoyable, was, wasn't it, the journey? Aye, if it you was. started doing that, what would you rather have? Was it? What would you rather have? Yeah, what would you rather, aye? Oh my God, that was a, that was quite intense. Aye. What was your guilty It pleasure? was better than him. How have you changed in the last five I years? Know, yeah, I've seen like that a question in the group chat. It was like a cracker. Uh, it got quite deep at times, wasn't it? It did, it got quite a bit. What, you're talking about the fake taxi? The fake taxi. What did you do? I appreciate you coming out as well. Thanks for coming and supporting the boys. The boys are all delighted to see you. It was great. You're like celebrities up there, weren't you? I know. We've got some videos of the fans, mate. Brilliant. The fans are funny, mate, in there. Honestly, right? You're asking for trouble! See, we all know what we said about the VT stuff and stuff we've done. I think. The, the, the video that's going to go out for the game, I think it's going to be brilliant to watch. Is it good? Honestly, is it? mate. Aye. Honestly. Oh, the fans were See, interviewing the fans at half time before the game and that. Oh, did you do that? Aye. aye. No, he's not. Aye, aye, aye. They did in the crowd. And then they were filming me while I had my big arse back. He, he had David Attenborough's voice <laughs> filming him. Mate, honestly, wait to see it. So funny. <laughs> we had oh, them what? singing Peter Heat songs and that. The, what about the accent? It's wild, isn't it? Couldn't understand about those great people, but their accent's wild. And the other for the tucking! <laughs> Got them! Get the left kid of Kirzu! They're rich, mate. But I tell you what, though, I, I think we've got to mention it, Paul and, and Kev. They treated us unbelievably. Mate, it's a great staff in there. No, they did. Like, like, fucking macaroni, cheese, and chips at the end of the day. Food's giving a Harry Fraser, mate. Wow. Wow. Dennis stole all day, didn't he? No, he didn't stole all day. I couldn't believe the questions over that booth, mate. And then he goes in there. He goes and does analysis with BBC with a vibrator in his mouth. It's a disgrace, isn't it? I know. <laughs> so did you need to take the balls out of his mouth to pull them out for the door? He's part of the before I went on. Honestly, right, see that? Coventry, uh, that's the coldest I've ever been. Coventry? Co- Coventry. When did you play them? Coventry. Honestly, that's the coldest. I've, every time they came to speak to me, I was like, uh, and then at one point, my wee boy, my wee boy phoned me after the game and says, Dad, why you got a stutter now? I said, what do you mean? And then obviously they showed me the clip and I went, do 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 that was me. Why don't you just come out? Talking and shaking talk. What about your? I watched the drawback last night. Your your arm, mate. Oh my god! But see the hang out. My wee ma's message. That would do arm's back, wasn't it? My wee ma messaged me. Did you plug it in? In the wall. My wee ma messaged me. She was like, "Paul, I'm really proud." She was bigger now. She went like, "I'm proud of you, son." She was like, "You don't believe it. You're turning on Twitter." I'm like, "Fucking brilliant!" Went on it, mate. Just getting fucking. I was like, "Mate, what the fuck is she told me to go?" Did you get annihilated? Oh my god, mate! I thought you were brilliant, mate. Hey, you were it's the best of the fun. See, see the thing, and in, in, in what we do, and what everybody else does, that people have maybe some kind of note. Everybody wants to shoot you down and things are going well, so don't fuck it. Mate, I couldn't yeah. give a fuck. Ah, I yeah, couldn't give a fuck. See, all you slaps out there that shag his ass, go do one. <laughs> go do one. Because I could not give a shit. Oh, oh okay, girl. Girl. I could give a shit. That was a, that was a Facebook mum post, wasn't it? Aye. Uh, That's something your mum would say on Facebook. But you said you had got a lot of practice. Was it picking balls at your dad's boxers? I've done it all the night before. <laughs> so I'm surprised why I'm so shaky. The moves are not The balls were never near as hairy as what you've been practicing with. <laughs> see, see, when you were doing the balls, right? Were you, were you putting them against a wall, an invisible wall or something? You kept going, four. Mate, do you know what, what about the rehearsal? <laughs> Mate, you were pra- he was practicing how to save like seven for ages. He kept going, seven. But do you know why? Seven. Mate? You had no cover on the boys with your seven. My black nails. Five guys. 
But the rehearsal that kept up, like I was like, mate, you're going to, we can't stay the number, pal. I'm like, oh, man, I need to rehearse this. Seemed like there was something there with you and Connie. She's a superstar. She's going straight to the top. And when we met her man, it was real Kyle. What a guy. Kyle was a great guy. Great guy. I coached Kyle for a bit. Oh, did you? And then it's Kyle like a... Kyle coached and it's like for a bit. He knows he really well. He's a good guy. And as, as I say, Connie will, she'll go to the top. Right, right, right. I actually yeah. really enjoyed the, the day in general. I, I thought was brilliant, man. I, I haven't even made that. I know that was good. You know I mean? That could be a wee thing, a wee adventure on a Saturday afternoon, going to an away game, interviewing the fans. Kind of I bet we've obviously got retired soon. He's going to do the thing, <laughs> What about uh, Stephen Thompson and Derek Ferguson's boots on? You see them? They were knee highs, mate, 100%. <laughs> I thought you could have been a bit, I watched it back, I thought you could have been a bit more complimentary to. Peter Head, I thought Faddy was getting us missed oh, in the parade. Oh, wow. wow. What did I, I say that was wrong? No, I By the way, I just want to ask you, how many d- players have you got in your squad with a set name Brown? One, two, three, four. Ah, he's right. Nah, we both, we both sense, said that. We both said it's got to be four by and said everybody. Mate, it was unbelievable. So we, 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 don't, we don't know every player, we know a lot of the players and we're doing the, 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 the pre-match interviews with the fans with me. What do you think the score will be? 4-1, Peter Reid. Four, one, four, <laughs> four uh, goals for Brun. Who's going to score? And he goes, uh, Jackie Brun, Chris Brun, <laughs> Scott Brun, <laughs> and Cammy Brun. What's the team talking about? How many Browns have you got in the squad? <laughs> what, How many Browns have scored? <laughs> what, did you, uh, what did you think of the game? Really good, Si. I thought um, everything you say is what we've seen. Um, you, want, you, always, you want to play no matter who it is. Uh, the work rate was brilliant. But it was just that... That wee bit. Do you know what it was? It was a bit of decision making the final third. I just felt there was maybe a few wrong decisions, or it was just that wee bit of almost bravery signing to get into that and uh, and go and get it, and go, take the bill with the horns. You know what I mean? And go and date with foot actually almost hesitating a wee bit. But that being said, and I know you don't want to hear excuses and all that. You're the last person who want that. But the penalty decisions, I that isn't even scandalous. It's not even up so bad. It, 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 He can't even see that's a penalty. No. So what is he seeing? As you said. Buy no booking then for diving. Aye. If that's what you what have you done? Aye. If you don't like this contact, you've got to book him for and diving. And would the would the goalkeeper have been sent off then if it was a penalty? Nah, I don't think they'd no. be sent off. I think Jim said they would get them sent off. I don't know what the rule is. Aye, I'm not Could sure. He, right. was, he, he would have had his back to goal, he still had to go and get the ball and try and turn. Right, so okay. but I think that would maybe come under a bit of an appeal. I think he's the only person in the full stadium that doesn't think that's a penalty. Even James McPeak says in his interview after, didn't he? He did. I thought it was I thought it was a penalty. So both are penalties. Maybe if you shout James McPeak. His coaching staff couldn't have been anywhere complimentary. Aye, right. spoke really to him after, after the game as good. well. Ah, we spoke to him a brilliant man. Coaching so staff are really good. I think, I think as much as you can praise uh, Peter Head for how well he's played, they probably they're probably at the same time. They're in a no win situation, don't right, they? It's tough they're they're going up to a, uh, a place where they're not going to get much praise if they go through and they've won three 0 and got in the next round. So I think both teams have came out with it. Some sort of credit. I watched it back, feel frustrating, mate. Bit of self-belief, mate. Just a bit of self-belief. Self- so many times we get in good areas good and good we're players. so slack in the Again, good, it's getting in good areas and it's just it, what you're needing there is a wee bit of composure. Mm. Instead of trying to take that snapshot or get at your feet quickly and hit it, just relax yourself. I felt a couple of times that the boy Duncan when he came inside, there was one when he one on one with the centre half mm. and you're thinking a tricky winger against a centre half. And he took, he, he took a touch too early. Too early, Kevin. I thought he should have dragged him. And he took a wee touch closer towards the defender. The defender then steps it. Then you could have chopped him and then maybe got something. There was one I think, one that got played down the side. And instead of just putting it across the face of goal, check back, try to do an argument. Sometimes yeah, right. it's either too much or not quick enough. But yeah. listen, I'm not going to say that um, it just... Peter Head's leave one. Sometimes that, that when you're low, did these Premier League, you, you sometimes lack a wee bit of quality in the final third or a wee bit of quality somewhere on the park, and that's all it was. Mm. But to be fair, keeping the ball, passing it first half, you, you, if somebody said to the team in the white or the Premier League team, you'd have probably laughed because Peter Head were miles ahead. Mm. But as we, even like us saying that about the final third, you like the, the boy has a great strike after inside the post, goes along the line, then you could have, should have got a penalty. So that can be two goals straight away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's against the Premier League side, so I thought he was absolutely excellent. I, I thought our shape was quite good. Aye, so that is. Uh, I don't really think they they, they, they troubled you out with even the even the goals the and then, the, and no, and then the, the, the first the first penalty probably comes with a wee bit of indecision for you. So they don't even like sort of split you open and nah. then you know, giving the penalty away is disappointing because I think Paul McMahon's not going anywhere even nah. if he does knock it by the goalkeeper. It's, and it's, you see on that, pitch. on that first goal, you see with the boy in the, the centre half, it was it, it was him that gave the ball away, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't blame him for. No, so see, seeing that instance, I thought that's right. It, it, it almost thought if he was going to clip it at first, right, or look for a bit, and then he hesitated a wee bit, and then yeah, they came the in. Touch. See, in there, you want him to pass that? Should there have been somebody in there, or, or you'd better. So, Andy McCarthy, who I, I love as a football player, uh, a right good midfield player, 
he drops off in the first half I thought he kind of played within himself right. Andy plays the ball it's on for Andy to open his body up maybe play forward or get out of the side and he, he takes a wee easy option and just pops it back to Andy puts him in the shit a wee bit I thought right. and then he doesn't drop to make another option for Andy if he mm. drops five yards Andy can turn it play him back again even going back to the goal out of the other side but right. I felt first half there was that wee bit of, oh, I'll just kind of play play safe. play safe I actually thought I played better second half I, I might be All wrong right. I watched the first half back even our pressing first half mate I wasn't happy with it I wanted just to press higher up the pitch I when mean, Naya pr- went to one centre back, I wanted my opposite wide player to come into their centre half, and he was worried. He was he was too worried, wor- worrying about what the full back was doing. I think that's Fuck how they the full back. If the ball gets switched sixty yards, we'll switch you. I think that's how they go outside sometimes. Hundred you know, percent. Them in there, but then that centre half is f- uh, spare. Yeah, they just bring him in, and then it. I think Andy have said before in the journal, I think they said that, that Dundee would have a chance. You know, the Peterhead would have a chance because Dundee were playing with three right sided defenders, mm. so there was an option there to keep them down one no, side, and especially. With, Cammy Kerr, who I don't think had a great game last night, I thought there was an opportunity there to expose him. But it's all hindsight now, looking back. But I think as much as you would like your team to have done better, what more could they really have done? Because they did play well, they yeah. did play it high. They just there were just parts of the game that lacked a wee bit of quality. That maybe on another day, say say, say for example, one of the first opportunities goes in. Yeah, you might go and win that game two three. Like two, three goals, four oh, goals. But and maybe start. But if, and yeah. it's the same. It's like you're needing a bit of luck to go for you when you're yeah. playing well. Dundee got a bit of luck. The fact was they've only playing well and they got the penalty because it wasn't a great touch for the boy that, w- that ended up putting the ball through for him to touch it past the keeper. But and then obviously a bit of clash from Charlie. Great die. What a bit. pass, mate! I was, I was right behind it. I, I was looking at it. Over, I hear, it, heard the aye. sound of hitting it. Oh, I was looking at it over and over pass. again. Replay, yeah. trying to figure out how how did the defender know have his back? But the, 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 the boys the quality, are a joke, the, the quality of the ball is unbelievable. But what I will say is we we only get the boys for nearly half a week, mate. One aye, one night crazy, and yeah, they I'm train with good players five days a week. So aye. and when you think it that way, I thought the boys. I thought in possession he's looked like he's had a style and something that he's working on all the time. Not a possession, he's had a shape. So you can't really ask for much more. It's like it's probably just that wee bit of. I agree with Slaney decision making in certain areas because yeah. there were so many times where you maybe had a 2v1 a 3v2 didn't where make you the most it, 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 it didn't make the most of it but it was almost as if the player was on the board never even realised players about him around him so a bit of communication decision making but I thought he's came out with a, a lot of credit because he's, he's did there really well Charlie Adam we speaking to him before it. he watches us all the time Charlie he was bang on we, me him and we girls were standing and do you know Stuart Hogg an old fitness coach yep. funny mate so we were all getting a laugh trying to fucking change football me Charlie and girls and Hoggy comes over, he's like, to Charlie Adam, you remember me? And Charlie Adams is like, hey, fuck, you were my old sprint coach. And I'm like, ah, for fuck's sake, Hoggy, if you tell anybody with Charlie Adams' sprint coach, I'll never get a job again. <laughs> but fair play to Charlie, mate, pushing himself off. And it's, but Dundee was spot, guy, I mean, all of them were, all the I players were fucking bang on. It's good. Uh, uh, Slaney dropped the cup. So you've got the, Scottish, the actual Scottish Cup? Aye. The Scottish Cup, mate. I mean, I could win. How they've trusted, especially me with the cup of all people. Oh my god! My head as well, but my shaky horns is for, for a second. It's Simon. I know, but then, that must have scared you the full way up, looking at your own reflection <laughs> in the water. Oh, but mate, so we put a picture up there last like, night in pre-match. So I've got the, the cup and the pizza, and so many people's like, "Mate, you look in the mirror." And I was like, "You <laughs> fucking horrible bastard!" <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even think. I was like, "They're talking about me with the cup, like, right?" And I've just seen it like, "Mate, you look in the mirror, oh, mate. Leave it, right?" So anyway, we go to Hamden. So Andy, you were already going to taxi, weren't you? Mate? You get picked up first. Right. Um, so then. We're about to drive away, so we've done the old famous way. So you know, turn up and fucking ripped off right out of that. So we've done it again. We used to do that every like show, man. I know. It's no Stop doing it, <laughs> So, and then I'm on the, the stairs of Hamden running down. But I had a wee school bag with me for the trip. So what we'd done, I'd, we'd planned, I'll put the, the cup in the bag. So when I run down, you can't see it. So I shout, lads, we've got room for one mare. So as I shout that, I whip the school bag around, and as I whip it around, the cup falls right out of the bag, say. Oh, no. Mate, it's... An- Oh. Inch off the floor yeah, before I he catches it. cock off the floor. <laughs> oh my god, that was put a, a, a great catch. Yeah, and and so you might have said, what, uh, dived and caught it? Like just bent right, right down. Right oh my god. The, the it was about an it. inch away. The wee guy in the top nearly fucking hit me. Johnny Sunderland on the top nearly fell off. Can you believe that? Boy for SFA was greeting, wasn't he? Oh. He was actually, I think he was greeting, he just chopped white, but the instinct for me to catch that was Aye, out of this world. Well done, mate. That was unbelievable. I can't believe I've let you take that trophy. I know. But the things he was getting up to, mate. I know. Was terrible, what mate. were you doing, mate? Too far. Take it. That was too much. <laughs> mate, the story you were telling me is the only shard, didn't he, big man? <laughs> so What's Mary Christie's jumper on his face? By the way, he kept saying the full journey, I can't wait to get him get in my bed. He told us he went to him, made a cheese and ham toast, mate. <laughs> so, wait, just for everyone, he came up to the buffet after he had macaroni and cheese, 
chips, yeah. chips, and then when you got the road, you had what cheese and with two packets of salt and going a walk off the way down. And then I says to him, I says, I said to them the doctor, I've come on all. I says, I can't have that McDonald's. So we went to the McDonald's that come on all right. Fucking shot. Twenty four year McDonald's shot. It was raging. So well, when you go back, ah, I went to me. I saw we McDonald's, we big Mac or something. <laughs> And then uh, I got I got up the road. Like fucking <laughs> I got I got up the road and I thought, fuck it, got a toaster out and two slices of toast, melted cheese, cup of tea. I caught up with a fucking few things on the social media. Like the best, gave the best, but the thing was the Batman story, wasn't it? Oh, oh Batman story. Wait, that? you see this in the YouTube the video, hand, right? It's unbelievable. Mate, see him, I went to a Scotland game with him and his kids. So we get to hand in it's like hospitality. So it's a free course meal, mate. Free drink, free course <laughs> meal. Eat, I'm fucking stuffed, finish a game, get in the motor, my boy, his boy, him and his boy, he's like, ah. any of you fancy a fucking KFC? <laughs> Is it, we, we drove about 45 minutes about Glasgow and we KFC, we just had a free he, he's off. not telling you, he said, I am up for that. No, I don't <laughs> know. He went with that bag, didn't he? He went with your bag. <laughs> I see the fucking mess he's made in that back, what are you doing in the back? <laughs> Fucking chocolate everywhere. Was there? Aye, I cans know, of cold stuff down the side of my seats in there. Did you get a scud book? Got I, it. No, that's a celebrity mag. I said that. That's a lot of things, bro. You know what, what, you know what, what he says it. to me? He says, the only part of the settlement. I says, I've got a couple of ibuprofen. He says, no, I, I can't take them because I take two tramadol every day. Who the takes two tramadol? <laughs> right? Just to get so then he got to the garage and he says, hey, okay, have you got a couple of pound coins so that I can go and get like some. <laughs> uh, a couple of pound coins, mate. So I can get some paracetamol. I says, I've no one to change here. Just take my card and beef it. He's only quit the fucking the, the, the <laughs> lemon. He's bought fucking Bella magazine, fucking women's fucking friends. He's bought a lot. Juice, they bought a women's fist. friend. They've got a magazine. fifteen pound fucking shell bill this morning. Oh, what? I, I don't know. He's going up to the hearts. Uh, hearts, right. two coins. Mate, the best that. right is we, we'll see when the, the the YouTube video comes out. It's like Kev was saying how he's he, it lends away for a bit. It's saying he's got this magazine. He's like, no way, Kev. I found her. They turned in the article. It was like. On a trip cheating on my husband and I'm no guilty. I love sleeping with married men, man. Right? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, I thought they'd be black boys looked like the own Boca and El President. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be gone. The Zoom calls have stopped me. What? Brilliant. That's a that's different class, that. How can you, you come in? But he sent it to Earth, hasn't he? Ah, Can you uh, come in final third? Come and coach your boys. Do I'd that love to do it. I would love to do it. I was actually watching things I uh, own, own that. That like you uh, could maybe improve us on? No, no, I, I was doing that as well, but on that, see, I was watching a lot of things you were involved in that, so we bail. See, Bill, did he take something? I asked this last night. But I, Mate, you asked me about 300 questions about Michael View last but night. See, did he ever just take like the attackers away theirself and give up on them? Mm -hmm. I think that's a, I think that's a, I think we may be missing some football mm. clubs, right? But it's hard for us, mate. Like, no, 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 I was part time. <coughs> it's different. And you're maybe something like individual coaching. In that, do you know what I mean? But I think. Position specific. Aye, stuff like that. But then working on like your front three and then working on how to. See what we were talking about getting in the areas. Maybe they were a wee bit hesitant. Yours are different. Use something like seven bodies of training and mm. all that. But. Me the full time clubs. We do that. Right? We do that at Hearts quite a lot. These, aye. Individual I think it's important. I think it really Somebody is. told me that Bill puts it like twelve balls in the half field and the midfield three and the front three going. You just need to go and get a ball in the opposition and play different fucking rotations and. Uh, they do that for like uh, four games at the four World Cup. So the midfield three and the front three are, are basically just in position and it's just kind of pose playing. You yeah, played well. Like, finish. There was a lot of times you played like balls up to the front back. And then it was looking for that next pass, said, but the next yeah. pass wasn't on. So that's it's more that's more to do with players recognising what's happening. Mm. It's not about it's not about quality, it's just identifying that like, he's played that up. He's going to lay that off. See if I make that run in there, he might slip me in. That's what he's were looking for. Because the boy Nai Nai Payne, Naya, is it Nai Payne? Naya. No, he's actually all right by the way. Put himself a boot, held the ball well, but I thought, boys off. Uh, I bet he was. He, passes a play. I thought he passes a play. You said yeah. great. Yeah, I really good stuff. I really got, to really see it. got to mention as well. It's now set up for the best. Quite a final draw in Scottish Cup history. You must be proud of yourself how you've drew the teams. Devastated because the whole talk was you get four derbies and I didn't get one of them. <laughs> who, who did you draw in the rehearsals? I always wonder that. What was the draw in the rehearsals? Uh, the first game was um, St like, Mirren Rangers, was it? Was it like like Rangers, wasn't it? No, I'm just, just, that is that. <laughs> Celtic Hearts. Was there no Celtic, Aye, Celtic, 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 Celtic Hearts? Celtic Hearts at Burn Rangers was the, yep. the dummy draw. Aye, but who's who's Burnett did you take? A guy in the crowd. He was wondering why there was snow on the inside when you gave him it back. <laughs> Maybe he got it done in real life. Get the wee guy, I got his, his hat and I said, listen, pal, get it back in 10 minutes. But I knew he was going to be out. The wee guy said he must have been freezing. Uh, hi. 
Mate, he's actually, he's, 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 he's took that 75-year-old's bonnet, mate, for the dinner. <laughs> yeah, but, but listen, he, he loved it though, didn't he? He actually went, yeah. So was that 75-year-old sitting with your purple, purple tan? No, he was, aye, was aye, aye. Yeah. We swapped, I swapped, I said to me, just for a day, I couldn't go in with a pu- purple tan on it, you know what I mean? So, mate, he had a suit. He had a match of purple face. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze. You know what yeah. a purple tanny when you pull that back? <laughs> I should have had that out and go with He had a blazer on a bonnet and under, under the table he had a pair of joggies so and a pair of Yeezys. See, see, like that. See the, the Navy joggies I bought at the Hydro? See the big baggy things? I think you've never had off since then. <laughs> Wearing them last night, I know. Is that what you're wearing, man? I had the, the track on, but what I honestly want to experience today. Um, it's good, isn't it? I enjoyed doing it. It's amazing, well. but I would love if I had a wee. Somebody to bounce off of. See, we, somebody else was doing the boss as well. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? While they're doing yeah. it, sometimes you're just constantly putting that horn on your house. Uh-huh. And you know, like you're looking in the hole. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, no. What about uh, the big man doing the BBC as well? Brilliant, big stuff. Changed, doesn't it? He changes when he's oh. on the TV. It's like Derek Ferguson, mate. He puts on a it's quite boss hard. voice. It's quite hard. Is it? It's hard, honestly. See when you know absolutely fucking nothing about Peter <laughs> Head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, did you research was, me? no, I did, I did a wee bit of research because what I did, Simon, was I texted you for the information and then Faddy says to me, you got some info on Peter Hedges, says, aye, so I told, this is what you got, so I told Faddy. And then he used it. And he fucking used it all. <laughs> I thought, like, what a dick. And then, <laughs> you uh, kept saying to him, didn't you? You kept saying to him, say, uh, oh, Zach Rudden will be brilliant aye. tonight. He says, Zach Rudden will be a threat tonight. <laughs> I should have from it to say it on BBC. I, I was thinking, I'm not, I'm not even saying it. <laughs> because <laughs> It's a bit like when I text him and say, Si, you only give me somebody's number. And see when he sends me their number. It's always I'm, I'm now thinking, I'm not texting that because that's no them. I was hoping they brought up. It was an all round really good day, wasn't it? Great experience because it's watching a game of football, a different um, different ground, different experience. And the, to be fair to Peter Head again, Credit to them because the manager was complimenting afterwards. He was a great guy, Jim. Hey, then, good guy, wasn't he? Uh, good for you, wasn't he? Aye. Oh, and then all the all the all the fans and supporters from all things, amazing. Big Tomo took some stick right enough. Did he? Oh wow. Was he getting abused? Somebody shouted, "Oh, Chris Boyd, you fat!" And I was saying, <laughs> "Don't surely think I'm fucking Chris Boyd." <laughs> Tomo, you're fucking Dundee. Because he always played with the Dundee. Dundee, I hated the hair. So there was a bit of stick, but um, but a needle. I bet I need a little You've got a wee bit of spell, mate. Did you, Andy? Did you? I keep that off, but. Ah, I can't say what they were saying to me. No way. Mate, we thought it would what, be. What, Peter fans? No, no, Dundee fans, but we thought it was going to be like on, on, TV, on yeah. BBC during the draw, because it was during the draw. Oh, was it? They must have turned, right. turned yeah. the old. Done. What, so they've seen you through the wee bar bit? Through the window, aye. And the window was open because the wires the, uh, the wires had to feed through, aye. like to outside. And they were singing for ages, mate. I think they've got we about 15 like, seconds. Like, Days, this is on BBC. You, you is that that wire you, you were pulling? But then, but then, <laughs> but then, but then Connie says apologies for the, the language oh, that you're language, hearing. Yeah. So we were like, ah, they, they've heard it then. And no, it, it, apparently you can hear it. Wow. But it's, you can take it, mate. Thick back, skin, isn't it, mate? Thick skin. Uh, right, Stephen Glass got sacked, boys. Mm-hmm. Did it come as a shock? Nah. <sighs> Another away. It's not a shock because the, the, perform- the, 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 the results haven't been good enough. Mm. Um, I'm all for giving people time that Aberdeen in the bottom half of the table. That's and at the Scottish Cup. And at the Scottish Cup. No, you're not even getting to a quarter final in both cups and Aberdeen's the total. Where do you think it's went wrong for him then, Kev? I don't know. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, is it a personnel thing? But I'm looking at the boy Ramirez up front. He scored like 15 goals, I think, in all competitions. How many other teams in the league have got a striker that scored 15 goals in all competitions? And I think so. So they've got somebody that's scoring goals. So so where's it went wrong? Is it defensively? Are they no good? Because they've got the young boy. Ra- is it Ramsey? Ramsey, yeah, decent player. They've got some, Scott Brown in midfield. I know he's not played every game, but where has it? I, th- I, th- I think I think obviously Derek McKinnon is losing his job back then. We obviously championed the fact that what, what a decent job he was actually doing. It's maybe a bigger job than we actually realise up at Aberdeen. Yeah, because there is expectations up there, and. Um, one case or another, it, it just season, it just hasn't seemed to work sometimes. Stephen, I'm pretty sure Stephen Glass has got all the knowledge and all the the ideas in the world to be a good manager. Sometimes if you kind of get the players to buy into it, it can become <clears> difficult. It's getting that balance between playing good football and winning games uh, in Scotland is tough. That it is. is the hardest thing, isn't it? If you've seen it kind of with Sean as well. Yeah. And he's wanting to play this possession-based game and I think Stephen Glass was the same, but Derek was covered a lot of their games and he was saying they've only created many chances. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, nah... I don't know. Should they have given it at the end of the season? It still surprises me. I think they should have given it at the end of the season. Right? Yeah, I, I think they should. He, back, he, he came out and he was, he was very vocal. I remember he came out on the radio and the, the chairman and he was, he was arguing with them all. He backed his manager then. I think that... Give the guy at the end of the season and see and then you can make your decision on it. So you can, see, you can see it coming because that's how football works. But 
bringing in a new manager now, what's he going to achieve with Aberdeen? Has he got to team up a few places and finish fifth or fourth in the league? They're not going to get relegated. So why no persevere? Mm. And see if he could turn it and around. And see if he could turn it around because it's football now turning into the fact that the fans obviously have all the say and is, is the noise too much that... Is it Steve Cormack? Is that his name, the chairman? Dave. Cormack. Dave Cormack. Is it, is it time that he had... Because obviously when I'd heard that he'd... Dave. Flew over from wherever it is that he resides... Oh, resides, oh, he's... Um, oh, you're not necessarily now. By the way, I did not notice wow. there was a few big hey, ones. Yeah, where he resides that the, the, oh, thinking that the chairman's right? coming over for a Saturday afternoon. Where is it you're Aberdeen residing Mother now, David? <laughs> <laughs> Aberdeen, Motherwell, then you're thinking the writing's kind of on the cards here. No, you've oh, fucked, no, it's you've right fucked your writing the wall, mate. So... <laughs> That's I all I love about you, kid. You're up there one night, you're fucking doing the other Andy C. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what, what's the one on the Kelds? That's the Valentine's Kelds. Uh, on the Kelds. Ah, oh, fuck. Andy C. Same thing, different ones. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you all this. See, when uh, if managers get sacked quite a lot, right? And players sense that they might get sacked. Do you think they may be down tools a wee bit? What do you mean? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> There's that many sackings in football, right? There's that many sackings in football now, and it's as if, I mean, it's genuinely as if you have four or five bad results, you could be getting sacked. But see, players now, see if you don't really fancy a manager, and they know maybe one more bad result, he could be at the door. Do you think that needs to stop? I don't get I don't even get it. I don't know. No, they, they, they can't possibly get it. Because they've, got, they've, they've, they've got to, I get what you're saying, I get, I, get, I, I totally understand that, but the point is that players always want to try and do well. Well, I know. I've seen a Vicky getting put up. Oh, is this experience? <laughs> no, I know at Motherwell, certainly under Jim Gannon, the boys were desperate to get him out. Mm. Oh, desperate yeah. to get him out. So listen, if the board has made a commitment, listen, this guy's staying at the end of the season. But so see about that thing with Jim Gannon, could you physically see on the pitch that boys want to try as hard as they should be? Are you just talking about free experience for yourself? No, I could. Well, you could see that, eh? Aye. I could see it, aye. But I don't like to throw players under the bus. No, but I mean, as a collector, Overall, I could see it, Simon. That's what I was asking. I wonder if. But have you, if I've watched Aberdeen the last couple of games, I would never look at the team no. under Stephen Glass no. and say they're not fucking playing for him. Not at all. I Is do it, think if he, if he was at the end of the season, I still very, very confident Aberdeen would have finished top six. But, I mean, they're ninth in the table, like he says, you put it at both cups. So you can see why it's done, but. For me, I think it's probably a bit harsh that he never got to the end this season. But it's one of the things, right? You've got Stephen Glass and you give him the job. I think you gave him a two year deal. He goes and signs boys for America. I know. What happens if you go and get a new manager and he's like, I don't know. What. But then. Do you need to go and get a whole new set of players? I think, I, get, I think managers deserve one. I think you always need to wait up as well as who's out there. So now, who's Aberdeen now looking at for the job? Maybe Kevin Thompson. We were talking about that in the car yesterday. Kevin Jim Goodwin is another Goodwin. one that's Goodwin, done a good job at the I think Jim Goodwin would be a good fit for Aberdeen. Yeah, he's done well, isn't he, Jim Goodwin? I think what I like about Jim Goodwin is even when St Mirren don't have a great run of results, he still talks well and after the media of the week. Comes very honest, isn't he? Very honest. And I think they've won something like five at the last six or something and drew one, which has catapulted them up into the top six. And he's still the same person after the game. He just doesn't get ahead of himself. I think the players would buy into his, how he is. I, mm. I think all mm. round, he's a likeable guy. I think Kevin it's, Thompson. Love to see Tom will get that. Kevin mm. Thompson is obviously... as well. Bruni's his best mate, huh? Aye, he's obviously going to step up. I think he wants to be... Kevin Thompson's doing an unbelievable job at Kelly. There's absolutely no denying it. But for me, is Aberdeen expecting a big name? I don't know, because obviously Aberdeen's a big club. I'm not saying Kevin Thompson has a big name, but Kevin Thompson's just new into management. Jim Goodwin's been doing sit around for a few years now. Uh, and he's done Allo as well. He's done Allo. So I'm just finish. thinking possibly a wee bit more experience. Does Kevin Thompson get that opportunity to go to Aberdeen and go the same way Stephen Glass has him? It, you just don't know. But then do you also look at the style that Aberdeen that uh, Aberdeen want to play and the players that they've got that suit that style? If I'm looking at a Jim Goodwin team, I don't know if he plays that similar style they players suit. Whereas a Kevin Thompson would suit how Aberdeen want to play with that, with that group of players. But the thing is, you're saying about a style of play, I get that, but Stephen Glass couldn't get the players doing the style of play that he wanted to... I know, but Tomo could make a few wee tweaks and maybe but get Tim a wee Goodman bit more out of it the other way. There's an argument for both, both, sides, for yeah. both sides, there definitely is, but I think the next appointment Aberdeen have to make has to be the right one because having lost, De having got rid of Derek McInnes after all those years and Aberdeen fans went big change and then to get the change they asked for and it's not quite worked out, the next one's important because if they don't get the next one right... Aberdeen could be on a slippery slope well, because what about fans, Gary Megson and Matty Longstaff oh, I can't I can't we, Matty Longstaff, Matty Longstaff is that that boy that slaughtered Aberdeen Scottish football what? did he? Aye. 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 you can't get up you've no played no we didn't mention that he, he, he went back to Newcastle uh, who he, says, he says oh, Scottish football didn't suit me too physical and so I just, they just kind of kick it long all the time 
No way. And what and I wanted to write was, Matty, you were just dog shit, mate. <laughs> Back down the road, you're now in loan to somebody else. But uh, if you can't get, can get a game, you can't come out there and open your mouth. Uh, yeah. you know? And uh, Aberdeen tried to play under Stephen Glass, so uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know, what's he talking about? Uh, don't know, but seeing seamless open goal fashion, we just talked about a wee Aloha link, a wee Kelty link. Barry Ferguson's left Aloha. Eh? I know. Oof. Do you shocked? see it coming? No, I'm not shocked. I wasn't shocked. No, no, because no, the fans haven't taken to him at all. The fans haven't taken to him um, at all. So it was a strange decision for him to take the job, but he did it. Um, that wasn't. Uh, I just surprised. I can never get my head round. Back to Kevin Thompson, Kelty Hearts. I can never get my head round why Barry Ferguson left Kelty Kilt- Hearts to go to Alloa because Kelty were a, a stick on for me as one of the favourites to get promoted again. Mm. Had he stayed with Kelty and got promoted again, his stock would have been higher. Than potentially turning Alaba around, I think. Mm. So for me, I always thought it was a strange decision. But Barry obviously had an idea in his head by going to Alaba, this, this, and that might happen, and it might help him get back up to maybe like a, a higher club. And unfortunately, it's maybe no work to it. And fair play to Barry, he's resigned because he went and spoke to. I heard listened to his interview yesterday and said that he spoke to the chairman in great depth and said that it wasn't working. And he says we've got a good set of players. Maybe they just need some better, no better um, guidance. Maybe a different face at the helm, and hopefully. They can kick on, so didn't help. Bob was doing the ice cream van at games. No, I don't like it. Doing that. I don't know why you I don't. It's the fact go. that he kept playing the fucking music before they kicked off. What right. <laughs> 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 that were like? I'm having a team. double nugget at half time. Ah, no. right. <laughs> we because we played Fergie at the start of the season. Our we beat them, but they're probably better than us. One of the games and the proper passed out, and then when we played them two weeks ago, I was looking at his team like that's not Fergie's team. And that's when I, he he tried, and I thought I don't like this, the, nah. this will work now because as I say when Fergie's team at the start of the season they did play good stuff and when we played I thought that's not them so I think once that happens to you as a manager you think is this really a major that's a good point because we were talking talk to Faddy last night about like he was talking about becoming a manager or a coach and then you get in a rut and you're hell bent on sticking to your philosophy do you change it for the fear of changing it mm. or fear that you've got it wrong and that's the, the point yeah. that Fergus has clearly changed how things were going to see if you get a reaction it's no worked so I, I would never I would rather get sacked try, try to do with you I, no, no. that's understandable because you're headstrong you need to didn't you no you 100% as soon as you, if you've been banging on the, the same drum the whole season about I want you to play you need to be brave you need to be brave as soon as you get a few bad results fans start getting on your back you start changing it people can sense that because you're like what have you been banging on season uh, <laughs> Got to say the rank hanger. Got to say the rank hanger. He sets me up there. You see that, but no. Listen, uh, no. Well, here's another wee name we've, we've missed it. Jack Ross. Jack Ross. That's certainly a guy that I've heard, and I've got really, really good sources with this one. That he's waiting to go to Queens Park. You know, people will see that as a, a John Potter's there, isn't he? John Potter, who he's a busy assistant. So I've he- I've heard that for a really, really good source. Who's the gaffer <laughs> of Queens Park now? The, the gaffer's the, the Dutch guy. Mate, I've got my Dutch guy. Who's met? Him. I met him. Years you were the Dutch guy? Years ago. Oh, <laughs> he was certainly crazy earlier. <laughs> but no, uh, Brilliant. What was his philosophy then? It was fast, you said? Certainly fast. Rapid. Fast and quick. Did he spend a lot of money on transfers? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, he, he, was, he, he was really good back then as well. But we, people say it's maybe a, a come down for Jack Ross, obviously going for the Premier League to that. But Queen's Park have got big ambitions to go up the leagues. Yeah. And I've heard that they're actually thinking about going into European football. That's what oh, there you go. The next five what years. Was his, what was his position for you? <laughs> I don't want to say something like a dog. I'm trying to say it. Is that the back, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and what about our job? Have we got any. Ah, have a job. Well, I was fight, sitting thinking of the day up in the day. There's somebody that would be rejuvenate their career. Andy Graham. Andy Graham was a good shot. Would, and, and I, I've heard of the, the, the grapevine, would your name possibly come up in debate and. Manage, what, for our job? No, but for, for job. No, 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 I know you, but see if when teams like at Lower League are. Would your name come up, do you think? No. No. I think the other one job suits something. somebody that's maybe no long retired, try to get into coaching, maybe try to, I think they've got to try maybe fresh ideas. I think Alawa, I don't, like, would an experienced manager get into Alawa really change the fortunes of Alawa right now, where they are in the league and what they're trying to achieve? I think there's somebody out there, maybe like a, I don't know, there's been a couple of guys, I don't even actually know who the fuck we get the job. <laughs> Andy Graham, Alan Troughton, there you go. Wow. I back, like both of them. Back to back. Good guys. Again, I have got players that you need to get a manager there that want to play me. Oh, Kev yeah. Colley, Stephen Scoogle, there's no point in going to Alwa with a manager that wants to kick you over. That's what I was going to say. So do you think they've got a better, like, is their squad good enough to be better than what they already are? Like where they are position-wise in the league, do you think? There'd be a few, few things that I would want to change in their squad. Yep. If, I, if you were going to get that job. But in terms of mid, mid, midfield to front, very good. Yep. Very good. 
Good enough squad to be up there, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you it's a hard league. That is a tough to... league this year. That's what I'm saying. We can play our next three games at Airdrie, who are full time. Cove, who are really going for it, and Queen's Park, who are full time. So it's tough, mate. Aye. They're never going to. It's an easy game for Airdrie's anybody. Actually, Airdrie's flying by the way. They're great. Airdrie are good. Airdrie, Airdrie are my favourite team in the league. Mm-hmm. He's I really like it. a lot of goals, didn't they? Yeah. Scored a lot of goals. I think they've been Scott McGill for Hearts, is doing well there. I don't know if it is has, right? Scott McGill, I scored a few goals. We played them Saturday, mate, and I smashed them training Thursday or something. Aye, does Jamie's that? Where they played them Saturday. Jake Fergie, maybe, Jake Fergie, maybe met a better coach, maybe in at Rangers, where a, a, a manager like a Van Bronckhorst is maybe a wee bit quieter and you, then you get that, that passionate side for Fergie. It's hard to say. I think, I think that's that's obviously where he, he, he wants to end up, but experience he's like Aloha and Kelt is the only way he's going to get to a Rangers at any sort of capacity so I think he'll try and get he might take a wee break probably try and get into in management again because the only thing I think about Fergie being a coach is he's, 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 own, he's his own man isn't he? he's yeah. got his own ideas so will he work well with, with someone above him I don't know but I think he's Probably take a break and then try and get in somewhere else. Do you know might be a good coach? So I think no, he's yeah, a good coach. Yeah, no, he's a good coach. coach. Um, and he's got that. He's got that. Certainly that thing we talk about presence when he walks in. He's certainly got that. Now this isn't it into the, against Bob Malcolm. I would still have Bob Malcolm there, but I think he may be an assistant. Right. Oh, that doesn't go against Bob, but. Scared? Oh, that's not. Don't be worried about what you just I an opinion. I'm worried. Just an opinion. I'm worried. There's no purpose. You're only saying that because he tried to run you over on your no, bike. I, I, <laughs> it was a sandwich. No, I, I love the people. I think Bob he, he, he is good, but. I just think maybe somebody that can come in and take the training and Fergie can almost switch, we'll switch half, but sit back. take a wee step back because his presence is, but when it's on, on the players all the time, it can be a lot, I think. So mm. maybe a wee balance in there. Wee, Barry Fergie a, 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 like, was an unbelievable midfielder for Scottish football. He was brilliant, done it during the Premiership as well. So his knowledge and experience from that deserves to be in football somewhere. Yeah. It hasn't he quite worked out for him management wise in terms of where Allah and when he went, the Kilty Hearts thing was great for him. Um, but there is a place in football somewhere for Barry. And people, like, I know from experience of having played with him in the Scotland teams, he was fucking right on your case. But I think he's changed from them days. We've had him a few times on the podcast yeah. talking and he has changed and he has mailed it. So I think there is a different side to Barry Ferguson where everybody thinks he'd be maybe a rant or a raver. If things don't go the way he'll be. But I think there's a different side to Barry Ferguson. I think somewhere there will be a a place in football for him I it? think he has a raver thought it him and Bob put the vest and the glow sticks aye, on aye. and aye. stick the music on and dressing on. On. So I think he has a raver I think he's still a raver I'm going like his brother Derek as well I think he's the same oh, but it's strange where he puts the glow sticks I don't know why he does that he keeps on doing that he's got his first Scottish Cup goal the other night didn't he Derek Derek he did not by the way see your man Mida he is the king of shitty goals man and he is the king of shitty goals he just puts his cell about and he just fucking the king of high press as well Oh, See, uh, quick, oh, he's very quick, Kevin. I'm going to ask another question here, and I hope it doesn't go down as bad as the last one I asked. Right? Do you think when I, I, clubs appoint a new manager, right? Now, before I ask you, I'm going to give you a wee bit of knowledge before you answer, because the answer is quite obvious, right? They should appoint. They should ask the players a wee bit of advice on it, right? No, my thing would be no way. But then I look at. Because this happened with Man U. I suppose the Man U players are getting involved in the new manager, right? Now, that's a disgrace. The performances the players are putting on. Now, I remember reading something years and years ago about Carragher and Gerrard used to go and they asked them about it. Mm-hmm. So, for guys like that, listen, I think it maybe is a good thing to do. Not to ask the players who the manager is. So, with Man U, no way, right? The players don't deserve anything. But when, thinking, when I heard about Gerrard and Carragher ask, get asked, with guys like that, been at the club for so long. Not for me, mate. The minute you're asking players to, to have an opinion Somebody. on who your next manager is, <laughs> it's fucked. Somebody please say something. Do you want some boss to pull it in? I just want to shake, shake my horn in a ball hang again. You need a sleep. You need a sleep. You need mate. a sleep. Been a bad day. I really need a sleep. To That's the second question. So who, 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 like, what I, players do you ask? Just the captain? Or is there a... Well, see, see for example, you said that Rangers, you said like five captains almost. Oh, like the committee sort of thing. The committee type, nah, it's not nah, naive. <laughs> Nah. What's the point of being a director of football if you're asking the players who to appoint the manager? I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you there's nothing more Stop certain. Looking Twitter. Twitter. Sorry. Sorry. Stop looking at Twitter. Stop looking at Twitter. Sorry, there's nothing more certain today than the producer's going to get a few phone calls. <laughs> take that bit out. Can we take that bit Boker's out? just went for 100 kids to, twi- to, to yeah. three wee guys turning up. The Boker, the, kids, the Boker kids are now congregating <laughs> at school. and Congregating? Oh my no, God. That's, 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 that's good. That's going to be good. The, they the, 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 Boker, the Boker kids are sitting in the... No, say congregating. Congregating at, in the playground at primary five and they're saying to themselves, we've just been phoned by the winger. 
and they want to know who will next coach us. That's good. So the kids so are now deciding. The kids are now deciding whether he's got. The kids are now deciding, <laughs> whether, he's <got> <laughs> <laughs> are now deciding whether he's back on Thursday night or not. And it's George Slain. The new coach, I'm just hearing it's George Slain. <laughs> We're an ice in his mouth. Right, Rangers go to Dortmund on Thursday. Have they got any chance? Eh, no. Dortmund, to be fair, Dortmund oh. have had a, a few sketchy results. Up and down all season. Um, <laughs> Good 2 0 well, win away from home on Sunday. They're playing a gang, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Who were they playing? <laughs> they're playing uh, yeah, by the way, fourth, he is a master fourth, of German football. Going for uh, Grugan for but the the, the big, Union Berlin could have been but it's just running about the same standard of the club rubbish. He's a German. Your uncle. He's a German. He's a German man. I. God, he's a German. He's just yeah. dash dashes good, yeah. Oh wow! Obviously, <laughs> 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 that was what Augustus. Augustus Glut. Augustus Glut. Uh, Charlie Chocolate Factory. Go, he's yeah. it again. I don't know him. Dame, I'm forgetting that. This Dame, German. See, I want chocolate rubbed all over my, my nipples in German. <laughs> what's the, What's the German sausage? Daddy, would you like some Brat 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 Say that, say nah. I want some German. Let's go right on the next point. Well, can see, please, I want some Come on, Kev, you're good at it. Yeah. Some Brat, what's it called? Brat first. I want some Brat first. He's a big German accent. Would you rather? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your German joke. Berry Boats. No, Berry Boats. No, no, but you keep forgetting it. Get it no, I can't. We'll get fucked. Shut up. I'll call it in the world. That's a hydro. That's not a hydro. So, what? Your uncle's obviously a massive Munich fan. Ah, yeah, he, he's big. There's that le- leader who's hosing, didn't he? <laughs> Done under it. And, uh, so, <laughs> so with the, with the Dortmund, that's him that has got the glass. <laughs> glass, ah, the glass got, uh, eats an orange. No, no, it's an onion. Eat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> eats raw onion. Best thing to get back that draw. Mm, right, um, so on the German football, we, Dortmund have been very up and down this season. Not rhyme with that, but that's they have your favourite team. Aye, they have been, they have been, and they get they get absolute skilt with Leverkusen. So. But yeah. when you were the strip, mate, imagine you think it's nice. <laughs> uh, uh, you got to scare Leverkusen, I'm good. Get absolutely, so what I'm saying is, we see Celtic put up a great uh, showing against Leverkusen in both games. So I, there's no reason why Rangers can't go there. That'll be very hard there. Is Haaland fit though? That's the only one. If he's fit, I can't see a, ch- a chance. I'm sure he is, I. I'm sure he was out for it. I do. I don't, it's going to be tough. It's, really it's, it's one of the best places to go in football, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, you're feeling the worst, aren't you? Let's yeah. be honest. I, I mean, I, I don't think Rangers are going to get embarrassed. I, I, I think they'll, they'll, they'll put up a good showing, but Dortmund have got to be heavy favourites. They're probably going to be one of the favourites for the for the Europa, Germany, no? Uh, Surely. Big uh, plus, Hollander's back to these sort of games. He's usually I know, good, but he's not going to play, is he? Not really not playing no. it. He's only played one 80 minutes since he's came back. And it was obviously last Dortmund will Santa. probably look to try and get the tie wrapped up in the first leg, I would imagine. Aye. Mm-hmm. I, I can definitely see that happening, but at the same time, Rangers get there and be defensively strong. They might, we were talking last night, what would be a good result for Rangers in Dortmund? Obviously, I said to one for getting that away goals didn't count anymore, but a goal, as long as you don't get it, you always want an opportunity to bring a team back to Ibrox because it's any European night yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in, in a, at Ibrox or Parkhead is a very, very tough fixture for any away team. So for me, I, Rangers just got to need to try and stay in the tie. I did say I think Rangers will score. Do you? Aye. Aye. I, I, I'm saying like German, buff. German football there's so many goals in German football all the time you know like you see you look at when, when Celtic went to Leverkusen obviously scored two and I do fancy Rangers to score but I don't see them coming away with a, with a result right we'll see what happens that is a hard game oh, what an atmosphere in Dortmund as well as much as I'm saying <clears throat> the second in the German league yeah do you know what I mean so they're a good side how's Nanglesman then? Nanglesman he's at Bayern that's what I'm saying. How's he done? Well, no. seen they got beat the weekend. No, didn't they? Both of them won it. Uh, both four now, didn't they? Do you know what he's wearing? No, check this one out. Do you know what he's wearing? Red body warmer with red socks. Unacceptable, aren't they? Come on. Would you not? You're having that? I don't know. I think that? guys like me don't want to know this. They want a guy come in, prancing a bit like, come in and have a scoot all day as well. I don't know, but does that matter what you're wearing and what you're doing? Is it not what you produce on the pitch? Do you think that if your manager present him? If your manager came in and a scoot all day, you'd be thinking, come on. I'd quite like him, mate. Would you? I like a wee bit of weirdness. I don't know, I'm just thinking for their mindset. Yeah, Imagine yeah. he becomes a manager, rocks up and they fucking treasures that are 65. Oh, I'll be pressing the exact same, mate. Well, I, mean, I, I, I know, I was Arsene Wenger take it, wasn't it? I know, I was Arsene Wenger take it. Well, the Peter Hedda has old school, that, mate. I really oh, like yeah. it. That's, uh, Tell you what, your trousers were still high. Were they high, right? Mate, you're scratching your ass at your shoulder. If you're going to press high, mate, you need to lead by example. Aye, that's true. Trousers up to the nipples. How did my arse look? You were sitting behind this. Well, as I said, you were scratching your ass over your shoulder. Was that high? You were like, ah, scratch your ass. Right, Celtic in the Conference League. Is it any 
twenty pound HMV voucher you get a view of it. <laughs> I'd like to see I'd like to see Celtic just no give a shit about it. You know what, let's finish the question there, right? No. On you go, mate. I don't want to, I don't I, I, what's the point? What do you win? What do you win? How serious do you think they'll take it? You'll put will you pay a full I, I, think, I think they've got I think they'll pay a decent You want to win it, didn't you? You said that. What just, about him shouting at Stephen Welsh at the weekend? Right. Did they? Mate, have you not seen the clip? No. Mate, he was oh raging, eh? Oh my god. He was raging first half. Raging, mate. Well shit! Mate, it was like a bear coming. Oh. You should hear it, mate. <laughs> uh, watch the clip, it's fucking scary, you man. You would have heard him last night, I know. Eh? The boy Andy, I think you were shouting at. Was that? Uh, Brilliant, but. Forative. But was he well shouting at? No, it was it Jason, it was Jason. Jason, Jason, uh, Jason copped Jason it last night. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, sorry, so how, how see it? He wants to win it. But you should. Aye. Great to, to, to want to win it, but what, 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 when you win a league or a cup or something, you get a reward. What's the reward for this? Where do you go? What do you get? You're guaranteed Europa League, which doesn't matter because they were already getting Aye. it. But financial? Surely financially it'll be, it'll be, it'll be decent. What if anything, that? it's for the fans. You know, they might get a wee run, they might get some decent away trips. Here's this fucking job. Oh, yeah, that's oh, the man. That there that came me off in the car. That's why we were only doing 50 miles an hour. He's got fucking 45 <laughs> gallon of water in there. <laughs> Fucking weighing the car down, <laughs> honestly. That's, to... that's your date. That should what be. What is your... that? A dumbbell, mate. That, that should be your daily intake of water. Is it? Oh, that aye. So I, 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 I now drink for that, so I know how much water I need to drink. Hey, we've not even mentioned we met your man, Santa. Aye. What a woman, I what a woman mate. Love she, it. she loves you as well. Does she, she? she actually messaged me. Would you like better? Probably have not to be honest. She messaged me when she was watching window, the, the game there, not you? No, yeah. I, I'll show you the text. She messaged me saying that's a Stonewall penalty with an angry face. Did she? And then after she says, uh, oh, proud of Slaney, was brilliant on the draw. So, not she was watching. Well, that's yeah, what she said, how well you've done. Right. Aye, she, aye, she was. She knows the football, doesn't she? Aye, uh, she likes the football. She loves football, aye. Loves and, it. And went down, she was saying she went down to England not to see you. Brilliant, not And her man with the bike seat, that was strange. Don't know how he was. Like, like cycling. Aye, turns the seat up. Aye, parts parts of bite in your ass, don't you? Gets gets us there. No, but have you have you spoke about the the cup? Have you love no, uh, we, we spoke about it yesterday. So we did. So we did. So I don't know. You don't want to talk about it twice. Do you? No. Would you have had a penalty if you if you aye, were aye. Away, Would you? Definitely. Aye. Good on you. How was Davy? How was Martin Dill? You speak to him. Good. He had the libs on, mate. No, he never had the libs on. Good. Oh mate, he's a hero, man. Yeah, we have on. Louis Vuittons. The high heels of the trainers. No, no, the trainers he had on, but he had it on walking about like that all the time. Kept just fucking his fucking shoe up all the time. <laughs> what a shot that is. <laughs> did that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what did he hear on that? Like? He's, he's the big one for the good yeah, Mate, see, oh, you're not wearing it today. And she has like we uh, grey fleece that he wore for the draw. Uh-huh. And like, a wee fleece on like that, pair of trousers and the old the flickers. Mate, he's fucking stepped up for the dark days of the uh, beige chinos, isn't he? Do you know it? what he's... Honestly, he does that. this about a hundred times a game. I need you to watch it anytime it's on Sky, right? So he'll shout at somebody. So he'll say, for example, give me a name. Nicky. Nicky! Pass it quicker! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, blows out his mouth and shakes his head about a hundred times a game, honestly. You need to watch it, oh, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, well, right, back to Celtic then. So is it Bodo Glump? Anybody know anything about them? Maybe we were looking at the, the names that are in that, that competition, right? Celtic have got to be one of the favourites for that. They've mm-hmm. got to be. Well, aye, Leicester, Leicester are favourites, aren't they? Leicester are favourites, but they've but no played. Celtic, they've they've no played, played their that. eleven in one game. They've made know. eleven changes. I'd for love everyone. to see the Celtic team play Rogers Leicester. Team. I think, I think Celtic beat them. Ah, okay. Leicester would make changes. I don't even think Leicester would play their full team. Team there. No. You checked Grover last night for the odds on that, didn't you? Aye, I did. Aye. Who's the favourites? Leicester, Grover, Celtic are some favourites for their internet. Apart from them, but Celtic are some price by the way. I know, right? Well, we are fancy sell to date, but it's just the Rangers. But it was like, like obviously Roma, they were set, but then it was like Marseille, Rennes, Lille. But, but, like but I'll tell you, Paul, if you, double, if you, if you sign up to them, you yeah. bet, it's like you double your odds. Oh, wow, so then that's 51. Right, right, why don't you do it right now? Well, what you doing it? I don't do it, no problem. Right, okay. You thought you're already signed up. Paul's got, a wee, uh, Paul's got a good thing going now with the teams that win the league, haven't you, Paul? Oh my God. He has a massive quest. Oh, sorry, but no, he won't. No, he has. Oh, he's, he's got a bet on where he does that every year, doesn't he? Oh. And they're all, they're, they've offered them money, haven't they? Gosh, you're already 600 quid, but listen, we'll be brave and go all the way for it. How, who, have you, who have you took? I went PSG. Say, like, uh, PSG, they've given me that. Man City, Fulham, and who was that? Fulham, I've passed that as well. Real Madrid, passed that. Told them, cash it. No, but I'm getting 1,500, and if I don't, I've got 600 now. Cash it in. Wow. So I'm betting it. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Uh, right, here's a big question for you. Julian's back for injury. Julian or Starfield? Starfield's been better. Better, mate. To be fair. Um, I like it. You watch him positionally wise, always in the right area of the pitch. I, I'm going to say I'd rather have an informed Julian. Would you? Starfield. I'd take Starfield, I think. 
Starfield, I think, it's, I, 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 no, no disagree in the fact that he has come on, he's getting better, settling in. That's always going to happen, take time to adapt. But sometimes for me, he looks a wee bit nervy on the ball. And that, like, as I was watching it, he's, he's on the left side and he's always, you no know, predominantly left footed, but he's always cutting back. Sometimes he cuts back too much and it's like, there's a chance to intercept him all the time. Mm. I don't know, I'm just a wee bit. But then again, same Julian. Julian, was Julian ever that wonderful centre half that Celtic had years well, ago I, when he was playing? He was a good player on that, I, but he had his eight faults and errors as well. Mm. But it's a good, it's a good, it's a good return to for, for the for the football club in terms of it gives more options, it gives competition for places. So if Sarfelt does come out or whether Carter Vickers in and pick up an injury, then you've got Julian ready to step in. So it, it can't be a bad thing. Mm. I, I was I was going to say what we are absolutely brilliant at in Scotland is. See if a player's injured or they've not been in the team for ages, they're, they're somehow better. They're somehow <laughs> unbelievable. I know. So Julian, because Julian was coming under some stick mm. before, he, before he even got this injury. And like you said, Starfield's improved. So I don't think there's any given that Julian's going to come back for injury and just go straight back into the yeah. team. We all know at his, at his best, he's, he's a good player. But Celtic have got the best like defence record in the league the now. So I, I can't see them changing it until... One of them maybe gets injured or, or, or they go out of form. I went to the Celtic Ref game, play Scottish football fans, I'm pleading me, right? My nine year old kid, ball goes back to Joe Hart, Joe Hart's trying to play and see because what Frankie's added to me, he should just kick the ball to the pitch. And I was like, nah, sitting there for two uh, minutes, I'm going to tell you, he should not fucking kick that ball back. It's the last thing you should say in front of you, isn't it? Try to play with me and be like, ah, kick the ball. You don't get what this guy's trying to do, he's trying to play, man. Well, where's he hearing that for, though? Oh, Peter Runja didn't they say shit and kick the ball to the pitch? Uh, just oh, I'm kicking I know it's a completely different. See if the, see if the goalie they guessed last night had just a kick the ball at the park. Who's? Uh, Dundee's. Dundee's, yeah. Oh, I know, but he slips, didn't he? I know, but he's trying to take a touch and be clever with it. Didn't he? His, his touch was horrific. But I know and then as he went to go. Well, I'll tell you something, Kevin. I watched your game back, right? 45 minutes, I know what they're doing. Every time we kicked the ball up in the air, the ball came fucking straight back. I know that. No, that, 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 I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with that. But you can go long into people's chest, into their feet, if you play the right ball. Understand when a goalkeeper situation, if it's gone back to Joe Hart and Joe Hart's got time to take a touch and pick a pass to the fullback or whatever it is. But it should always three. be a pass on, because your goal is no, just their man. There should always be a pass. Aye, but always I didn't see the, the, the situation as to why he kicked it long. Was he under pressure? Who Hart? Aye. Aye and he, tried, he clipped the ball or somebody's head. I said, what's wrong with that? People wanting them to kick it. But that, that's that's fine. Maybe the, maybe see see. But that's not so, what the manager wants him to do. Eh? I know, but sometimes you would hate the, the, the Peterhead old guy. That would you know? Would you not hate oh, yeah. like when you're when you're a footballer being told what to do? Sometimes you can't do what you're being told to do all the time. So you have to make your own decision. See if you, see, no, see, see, see Joe Hart's kicking saying, it yeah, yeah. all the time, all the time, all the time. I get that, but you can't have a go at him for kicking it long once when maybe it was right to kick it long once. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just good. end that conversation yeah, right now. Frankie's no, fucking. No, that's good. Pick up that, is But it's again a nine year old kid's thing to kick about the pitch. That kills me. Eh? Right. It's no, almost I, just I, an I, actual hang in Scotland, though, isn't it? Because you mean in Spain, a nine year old Spanish kid. No, I would never that. say that. Wouldn't you know? Yeah, you, you, you literally every single stadium in Scotland, see if a ball gets passed back to the goalie. Say, so say, say your centre half's getting pressed from behind. And they want him to turn in time, beat a man and play. It's so if you pass back to the goal, it's like, oh, oh I know. pass it back to the goal. Oh, it's like going one down, isn't it? Aye. Fuck. So what you want it's, me to it's, it's a nervousness amongst the fans when it goes back to the goal. They think, oh, if he takes a touch and makes an arse, so we're under pressure. So they, that's probably the reason why they want it to kick, but just maybe have a wee bit more faith in the, the goalkeeper. But I, I get there's an argument for and against, but. Have you just been at a Man City game? Aye. No. There's never that. Eh? Never. Do you think it's just because you've seen it for that but long? Yeah. Ederson's got the ball. They step overs by strikers that, and there's no like. Uh-huh. But it's probably it's just because they level up player for one, and they've just seen it for. Yeah, I've seen five Ederson years. actually share a long. Ball. Oh mate, he can it's fucking love that. Right, how, how, he can play centre mid. I thought easy. I saw I saw Pickford doing it for Sunderland, and I thought he was incredible. How I, I was like, how, how hard are you able to kick that ball? But that Ederson, he fucking zings it like five yeah, feet off the ground. It. He zings and like, I'm thinking, see, that's coming to you. Your touch has to be absolutely on point to, to be bringing that down. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you a brilliant question. Oh, no. This is your first one. Is it, is it can, your, a continuous brilliant question or is this actually a brilliant question? This should, question? This should be a good one. Um, What's happening with me? That's doing my head in that. Oh, right. uh-huh. Sorry, really Paul, you go. No, that brilliant. Uh, who's been in football terms who's been the biggest influence in your life? No, we're not doing this again. This was all the questions we asked last night. It's actually an issue. You know who mine is? Tommy Burns, is it? By far. By far. Is he? Uh-huh. In football terms, you see your man dad, but they're not on the team. 
Well, I, I, I haven't spoken to your mum. You could see why. Could see why. But she knows the game. Football influences in football. Aye, could be a player. She likes in vet. No, she likes high fullbacks, didn't you, man? Aye. Hmm. Mine's with my two youth team members at some I don't know, mate. Ricky Spraz. Ricky Spraz, yeah. Where's it? Drew Todd, maybe. Oh, imagine. Andy? Drew Todd, isn't it? Drew Todd was good, mate. Who's was he your coach? Was he a youth coach? Aye, he's a youth coach, aye. No, Drew Todd, remember me? We were doing rotations and all that, a fucking 12 year old, mate. Can be beat. And he goes in there, you run in there, eh? Just shows you, doesn't it? Nah, your youth team coaches, and it's no, it's no fault. Like, they, they, they were, what you, what you didn't realise as a YT, they were educating you as hard as it was and mm. as hard as they were on you. They were trying to educate you and get you ready for that big professional footballer career. And when the chips were down, they would always say the right thing. I remember Ricky Spazia fucking going through me. Tell you whose chips went down quite last night, oh, you with that macaroni. Geez, yeah, old, that macaroni was tremendous. Uh, so the sorry, only thing that was lacking was a wee bit of tomato ketchup. Sorry, sorry, sorry they didn't do that there. Sorry, what you said when the chips are down He would say things to me that would make me feel like horrendous that wanted to give it up and yeah. just go back to Stranraer but the reason he was doing it was to try and make me be stronger and come through get through our side now was just think that first of the parents because they, they're there to give you that opportunity but then your, your youth team coaches that actually helped you get into the first team they were proper yeah. proper guys and Dude. I don't think they ever get appreciated the way they should Who was yours Paul? Uh, Ross Maffey Him that's at Ireland now? Right no. you've followed up a tremendous question with a terrible answer No mine's was <laughs> Do you know mine's was probably Chris McCart? Was it? Huh? Aye, Chris aye. had that good balance when he was. Uh, he had the good balance between. But I don't think teaching you, but then also could come down on you like a ton of bricks. Simon, what was the amazing. what was the what was the thing your fitness coach said last night on the VT? The good, end bit. Of good the, coaches manage players. Good, great coaches manage people. Aye. aye, see that's the difference. And I think you can hear all the badges, you can hear all the qualifications, yeah. all the experience, but see you as a, a human being. Sometimes that personal that, touch. That personal touch is sometimes a wee bit more. Aye. For me, because see if you get like you, you always wonder. Like one of the questions last night, Faddy asked, "How do you keep the modern day footballer happy when you hit you go and tell him that he's dropped? What do you go and say to him? Do you go and put your arm think, around him? Uh, do you go and, uh, but then do you, do you not speak to him? How some managers do? They drop you, put you off, and they drop. They no, speak you can't to him, right? speak to them. So it's like try to get that balance right. Where when you need them to come on for half an hour, even though you've told them twenty four hours before that like, you're dropped, you know my plans today, but you're needing him to come on for half an hour to turn the game for you. That's the whole point of being that type of person. Fair and fun, isn't it? What about Drew Todd's Revelinos? Oh, he used to practice Revelinos for about three years. Unbelievable. Mate. The half an hour of just drive tons and step tons of and He loved it, eh? So Stop much technique, enthusiasm, mate. mate. Technique. He used to you? always sit you down after the games as well and it would make you feel unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. That's Paul. Is Every time you drove it, I might be sitting half down, you know, she was in Senegal or Donegal. So many spaces are brilliant. If there's a wee ugly boy on the team, you come up to you and go, ah, wee boy Aiden Cairns, a good looking boy. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> uh, right, your hero, Kieran Tierney, Real Madrid. Well, listen, I said it uh, last night to the boys, I said, you, you, you'll go back in the archives. I've already said that. He'll be future Real Madrid left back. Right. I've already said that. And I think, the only thing that I think that would stop it is that Arsenal maybe the price of him, if they ask for too much or whatever it may be, but he certainly he just signed that new deal, hasn't he? Aye. It's Real Madrid, mate. You know I mean? What well price, what price do you put on signing Kieran Tierney for Real Madrid? 80 million. 20 million. Aye. 80 million. <sighs> he's, he's, he's more than capable of playing at Real Madrid. You think? Aye. <laughs> Definitely. Cruiser. Who, who is the left back and who is no still Marcel? Is it Marcel? Oh, he must be at 40, man. No, I don't know what that is, that's it. i tell you one thing, right? I have not watched a La Liga game for about five no, years. Man, I never have. So it's because it's no on Sky. Why are they playing it off Sky? Jerry Armstrong. Jerry Armstrong talked the biggest load of shite yeah. ever, mate. You would never game miss. Game Bar, you Game Bar, oh my God. Game <laughs> you see that rumour every game, didn't you? You would never miss an El Clasico, would you? Game Bar, like you no. Messi was on the telly, mate. He'd just sit like that and he'd... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but obviously uh, the guy, I love yeah. Messi, man. Graham Hunter, he was uh, the, the correspondent, wasn't he? Uh-huh. He was brilliant. No, the, man the, the, known, the man in the known Spain, Graham Hunter. That's a, thir- that's a bit of a Thursday accent, Graham Hunter, isn't it? Aye. But Talking it, through the smell of the Premier League. You know how we, you know how we talked about going to Thursday? Uh-huh. Well, after they had three and a half hours to Peter Red. <laughs> oh, well, that's that absolutely. Jimmy's a breeze, mate. That's no, the worst one in the world. Too long. I'm wanting Frank to phone. Speed cameras everywhere, or not? Oh, that's right. I've speed cameras. I want Frank McAvenny to phone the fucking weatherman at Clyde Radio to get us a helicopter up to Thurzo. Up to Thurzo? Oh. Have we gone up there, huh? Aye. We need to go, don't we? That's just done, lads. Oh, Somebody man. asked me last good. night, did I stay in Peterhead and go to the nightclub? Is it bad or something? No. I think it was deja vu, but I don't know what it's called. I've not been for a while. I don't know. Big Rory Sparks, somebody in the nightclub on you. Like McAllister, Did he? fan came up to him and said, "You're you're fucking shit." Did then just went, "Fuck you, man." <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, well, well done, well done, well done.
Don't I say well Simon, done, Simon, Simon Plot. <laughs> Simon Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Fox. <laughs> Cheers, oh, boys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>